I'm Derek Montroy and I'm a Turtle Clan member. We're out here today to learn more about the maple sap collection process. And we're here with Brendan Schuler. I'm Brendan Schuler. I'm the maple production manager here at Why Not Maple, showing off our, our collection system and how we do it sustainably and economically for maximum yield. Well, sugaring is the process of extracting sap from a maple tree, which is naturally occurring predominantly in the springtime. And the traditional method is to drill a hole into a tree, whether it's with a hand drill and basically putting in what's called a spile or a spout um, or a tube into the tree, which as the uh, tree roots pump the sap up and down the tree uh, for nutrients, it creates a positive internal pressure, which by having a hole in that layer, it expels sap out. What we do in our woods is uh, the same process, except everything's connected to a tube system, which then flows to a big collection tank. So we don't have to go to each individual tree and actually collect what that tree has produced for the day. A lot of the things that we have to work on is forest management in our sugar bushes. So it's not just drilling holes in trees and, and getting what you get. Um, there's a lot of inf scientific information and there's a lot of health benefits for the forest to take trees like this out because they're not going to actually produce like you know some of the bigger ones behind it mm -hmm. um and if you look this one's a little bit shorter than all the rest yeah so you know from the height of the canopy it's it's a lower story tree uh, so it's not going to produce as much sugar compared to the upper story canopies and that's where a benefit of having the forest management side of things um, will allow those trees to grow faster um, almost 50 percent faster mm -hmm. in the first five years of of clearing around them mm -hmm. and so just the extra growth really helps to do what we want it to do, which is create more sap. If you have any other maples in the area, uh, like this little stand of, of saplings over here, depending on the sun, this could be blocking their ability to grow. So try to get these ones down off the way, and, and that way it'll allow other ones to mature faster and, and grow into a better, better stand. Mm -hmm. um, that's predominantly what you know the maple industry is lacking is that type of forest management. It's something that we're hoping to really take advantage of, especially on this particular piece of woods.